What's up, folks? Hey, so, uh, real quick video here. Um, don't panic if your dragon fruit is yellowing like this. Over here, it gets really, really cold. Um, but you've seen this one in the summertime when the temperature starts to pick up. It'll start to get green again. My recommendation is... See, we have new growth here. Look at that. New growth, new budding. Um, my recommendation is just leave it as it is. If it gets a little soft like that, um, over time it'll, it'll it'll just pretty much decay. But as long as the temperatures um, don't remain very low consistently, then then you won't have a problem. Otherwise, you know. If they do remain low, then you will have a problem. You know, as this, this um, the dragon fruit is a subtropical, tropical plant, so it does do well in humidity, um, so on and so forth. But as you can see right here, that's already, you know, it gets cold. Don't panic. You know, um, what you can do is just put a a greenhouse fabric over it if you're worried about it um, but right now it's not the growing season especially here in this uh, gardening zone but if you do see it yellow like this look at that look at this two-tone color you got yellow and green look at that um it's just the indication that the weather has dropped and your ex your dragon fruit is experiencing uh Pretty much, I consider this like the dormant season. So, um, because this is already established, I don't worry about it. If you do have one that's yellow like this, and it's a single one, and you have it potted, you may want to bring that one inside until the temperature starts to pick up again. And of course, some of them, you know, if it's too much heat, you know, if it's like Arizona, Nevada heat, then you may want to put in some shade during the summertime. This right here, as you can see, you know, there's no yellow on this. This is the sugar dragon variety. We've got new growth, and of course, we have the infamous pest, the Argentine ant. But as you can see, there's new growth, new growth. Of course, we don't have any flower buds yet. This is not the season. So, do I water? No, do not water. Nope. Do water when it starts to pick up in temperature and when it starts to fruit. This right here, yeah. Over time, it will just decay out, but as long as your whole plant, if you see new growth, you want to. You want to just take care of that, you know. If you see new growth, you're okay. There's not much you can do. So, that's the video. And I have a mess here. I have a mess, but here's my lavender that I just pruned with some, some of these. It's best to trim your lavender all the way back especially during the excuse me during the uh before when it gets summer I had to trim this one this one was covering the uh the native white sage here and then that right there that's some stevia and we have the angel trumpet which is pretty much dormant it loses all the leaves during the winter chill after that when the temperature picks up this becomes one beautiful tree with a lot of foliage and flowers flowers uh, flowers are like orange and yellow and some white so 
folks there you have it till next time this is the sibius channel and sorry i haven't posted any dragon fruit videos been very busy i do apologize questions about dragon fruit right now it's not the dragon fruit season this one i did plant during uh, a little bit before Oh, we got a snail there. Snails are another pest. Um, take care of them, but I'll just let that. Yeah, that's a snail right there. Planted this one before the summer. Actually, before winter break. Oh, let's see, maybe November. Yeah, November, December. Excuse me. And. As long as you see new growth, you'll be okay. But you see, you know, there'll be some decay here. This usually will become this, this part right here. But it's okay. It'll do fine. Look at that. It's doing well, so there's no need to panic over here look at that wow that one's coming in nicely right um so if you're kind of out in the ooh, look at the growth on that I love the, the design of this one Wow. The reason why I put them in containers, another reason, but I have gophers here. These are gopher mounds. And, and that's one reason to put them in containers. So if you're kind of out in the wild and you know there's gophers or potentially can get gophers, and definitely need to wee whack all this uh, greenery here. But that's why I put them in containers. So you can amend the soil a lot better and you can protect your dragon fruit. So, folks, seven minutes in. Long time no see. Till next time. Hopefully, I'll do another video, and that video will be about dragon fruits me harvesting hopefully this year will produce a, a better yield than last year um, but it's a beautiful day right now so till next time